Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about Sync Slicers and its advanced option. Most of the viewers who are viewing this uh, channel, they are familiar with Sync Slicer. What is this advanced option and what, why it is important? Let's try to understand it as part of this video. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for notification. Let's begin. Before going to that one option, let's try to understand the sync slicer future and then we'll proceed further. So let me add a simple uh, slicer here. Let me add a visual slicer and I go for color. Let me quickly format it so that people can view it easily. And let's have color. Okay, that's it so what this slicer does is like as everyone aware it's act as a filtering of your visuals in the page so what is this sync slicer so when so i have uh, this filter here i mean slicer here if i want to um, use this uh, slicer to be applicable to another page let's try to have this slicer copied so i have uh, this slicer over here when i copy it here it will op ask for option sync basically when i press black there this will also filter in this page also that is what i mean it will sync basically that is what the sync option when you copy and paste people will always uh, know about this is as a basic thing so even if you do not configure it once you add a fill uh, slicer in this page and this page it is not syncing you can manually configure by view sync slicer uh, when you click on it you can have this option you can make these two check boxes then it will sync let let me show what i'm saying let me click on black when you go here this will also filter black so when you do not want to do that you uncheck it you can go here when you press blue this time it will not filter or slice or sync this slicer so in order to enable it just if you have this slicer just enable this one so once whatever you filter here it will both will reflect now i'm pressing red here this will have red when i press gray here when I, it will have gray here this is what all about the sync slicer so what this is the future most of them aware of so for, let's uh, forget about this sync slicer for now and this we all aware if we have the same member used that is a slicer for the color is sync between all the pages or multiple pages that will sync that is what our understanding uh, about the sync slicer but what if i can say like uh, i have a model here and you have a dim product here and let me bring this one over here so i have a dim product i have a product test so these two tables doesn't have any relationship between the fact or whatever so this is one table and this is another table what if i say color in this one should filter this one as well so whether it is possible or not let's try to understand it so i have a dim product here and this is what uh, this uh, slicer is meant for and let me bring another column from here and i will add a slicer let's say i will rename it as color test okay and i will format a uh, same like this okay what happened uh, it's not renamed properly okay let me rewrite again enter color test so when i press silver here it will not filter anything i mean because it is not synced anything right so you can see from uh, here this is one slicer this is another slicer how to sync between these two that is what I'm going to show so right now let me add uh, some measure for it let's add let's say count so this is from the product test in the product test you have total 606 records so in blue I have 28 records that is what this this count is from the product dimension basically 
so this can be uh, used for any use cases you can utilize let's try to do that thing what is how you can do it so let's see what it is happening in the advanced option you can see here this sync slicer between the page one i mean summary and page one created a group here color okay so uh, even here you see the same advance the color so this is what um, creating the sync between these two slices so whether i can have um, uh, the sync between another dimension as well yes it is possible so just use color here so once you use that group then this will also sync now let me see let me press red you see here the red is filtered here when you press white why it is filtered here so basically this advanced option is the um, filtering criteria between the group so when you have a slices then whatever you press here that will be synced that the same value is passed to other slices okay with uh, with all slices having this group name so that is what this sync slicer is doing so this advanced option is uh, useful when you want to filter a member from one dimension uh, that should also filter another uh, disconnected dimensions you can use this advanced option you in order to clearly understand how this uh, sync slicer work let me introduce uh, altogether another member from the product test that is a disconnected dimension let me increase the size of it what i'm showing here is this is class from the product test that is the disconnected dimension that is from this table there is no relation between the other tables but still this color will have uh, i mean if um, what this sync slicer is doing you need to literally understand so when i press color it is having a group color when i press color test this is also having group when i press class it doesn't have any group let me put color here what it does so if you see here this also part of it the same um, uh, sync slicer filter group so when you press yellow you just see what this sync slicer is doing it just adds that member in that sync slicer group whatever member since yellow is part of uh, this particular column already so it doesn't duplicate it because it's a columnar database it will do the distinct so when you press yellow it adds the yellow here so similarly when you press silver silver is new member added in the sync slicer concept this is the core concept between the sync slicer it doesn't do anything it doesn't know the relationship it doesn't require any anything to be uh, uh, same name same column or something like that how sync slicer works if you create a group then whatever value you choose that value is passed similarly if you press h here everywhere h is added because all are belong to the group so this is what the advanced option i hope uh, you uh, understand this uh, concept uh how this sync slicer will work and uh, how you can use this advanced option so with this you can have your own um, use cases once you have a filter from one dimension it will also filter other dimension if it has the same member so if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset